welcome to my channel being you now today i am doing a weekly reading for the aries collective sun moon rising and venus so this is a weekly reading from the 8th of may to the 14th of may so today i'm going to be doing a slightly different style of reading so let me just quickly explain how this reading will work um, I will be doing the overall energy for the week and today I have decided to do the traditional Celtic cross and then I will be picking out um, cards for business, career, finances. I will also be picking, picking out separate cards for um, love and relationships and then I will be finishing the reading with some tea leaves so it's an overall theme as well that you need to be aware of for the week. So um Thank you for being here on my channel. Thank you for all your likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. And if you're new, welcome. So wonderful to have you here. Um, and um, a few things. If you did not know, I do daily one card pulls, which is in the short section of my channel. And there's always something fun and fabulous in the communities tab. So hit that notification bell because I do do these readings daily. So if a reading does not resonate, come back and um, check out the reading for, for another day. Um, if you hit the notification bell, you'll know when the next reading becomes available. So let's launch into it. So I am after 10 cards to see what you need to know this week. see what cards want to come up so the way I do my readings I am intuitively guided on the style so there's no set style my readings vary so if you have been watching me for a while you'd know that I do different styles of reading dependent on how spirit guides me what comes through as i tune in and tap in and meditate before i do the reading and of course i cleanse your space as well so that's the outcome Alrighty, so let's launch into it and see what is coming up for you aries so this is you right now six of pentacles um i feel like some of you at the moment are feeling like that you're giving probably more than receiving um, I feel I'm as I tap in here, I feel a little bit of imbalance and desire. So I should say more a desire for balance in giving and receiving, whether it's energetically, financially or in love. So that's the energy. That's the overall energy I'm picking up right now. Um, do check out the full moon reading as well for um, full moon on the 5th, 6th, depending on where you are. It's on the 6th of May here in Australia could be fifth where you are so check it out it's already um so the energies are heightened so just just you know and sometimes those energies can go across for a week or two weeks on other side then um in your challenge yeah so i'm picking up some of you are really waiting for some form of news some form of um message regarding your finances career could be to do with jobs something that you are building for the future something long term so this is in your challenge position, page of pentacles. So to me, this signifies that you're wait, you are waiting with, with the six of pentacles card coming up, feeling that imbalance, a bit of a waiting, looking forward to a message or some form of good news. Let's see what else is coming up. Yes, so whatever it is, is the knight of pentacles. So it's moving slowly towards you. So this here, um, in, in terms of your goal, you feel that you, your patience is being tested. You feel that it's not moving quick enough, it's not, not happening fast enough, and it's moving very slowly. Now, as you can see, we've got three cards and all three cards are pentacles and we are in Taurus season. So a lot of focus on long-term long -term security, stability. For some of you, this could be house, your mortgage, your home. Um, and you know securing a securing a future for your family and your loved ones some of you this could be job or a business um, could be a creative venture something that you're looking to monetize and you feel like the momentum is not at, at the level that you'd like it to be a lot of pentacles earth energy um, so Taurus Virgo Capricorn style energy here now what you don't see or the unknown influence is the ace of swords so something new is coming something new is go coming towards you Aries so this is very very beautiful 
although you don't see it coming with the Knight of Pentacles, although you may think that you've been stuck or things are moving very slowly, something is coming and coming very quickly in the form of idea, inspiration, could be also in the form of um, um, an offer of some sort. So it could be to do with creative venture, could be to do with um, a truth about a job, um, a new beginning. So the Ace of Sword, I really see as a new beginning. I really love this energy, very light, very fresh. I'm feeling, I'm really feeling the freshness of this card um, here for you. So in the past, so the sun appearing in the past, to me, this signifies that you want to birth something, you're waiting for something to give you joy, happiness. So in the past influence, you are seeking joy and happiness. So what I will say to you, Aries, is how can you bring that joy and happiness and incorporate parts of that in your life every single day? Because this is your past influence. Um, and what is approaching you? So there is an offer of some sort. So we are in Mercury retrograde, so expect delays, communication. Um, things can be delayed because we are in the retrograde season. Again, you can check out the retrograde reading if you haven't already on my channel. Um, so here universe is handing you a cup. So Aries, in the retrograde, all I will say is that don't be too stuck. Don't be too stuck in your head and in, um, in the lost, lost situation and close yourself up as a result. Be open, look up, look around. That's where, that's how these offers will be coming towards you is what spirit is saying. Then this is, this is your talent. So the, the talent or resource where this has appeared. So you've experienced some form of loss in the past and um, felt left out in the cold. So think about the lessons that you've learned from the situation. That is your resource. What have you learned so that you don't repeat this again? That's what spirit is saying. It's not... Yes, that has happened in the past and it's not taking away the experience, but from that experience, what have you learned so that you don't repeat it again is what spirit is asking you to focus on at this moment, Aries. And this is how others see you, Aries. Others see you as someone who's shining bright, someone who is um, really focused on their healing, is really, really put together in the sense that they see you as someone who's healed, who can who has their shoulders on their uh, head on their shoulders, can communicate, shows up. So, so this is how people see you. They see you as someone who's shining bright and whose light is bright, which is beautiful. Again, this is Aquarius energy, Aries. So you may have Aquarius or you may have Aquarius um, around you. Now, your hopes and fears, I love this in this position. So in the hopes and fears section, I mean, look at this. You've got the star card, you've got the sun card, you've got the world card. With the world card, whatever that you've gone through and, you know, this knight of pentacles, which was right at the start of the reading, things are moving slowly, yes, but they're coming to an end. Whatever this cycle is, is coming to an end. The world card is completion. So you have completed that. You need to move past it. Don't keep staying stuck in this five of pentacle energy. Don't be feeling that left out in the cold because that's not helping you. You want to move from the five of pentacles, from the five of pentacles to the star, which is the healing to complete the cycle. That's what spirit is saying here, Aries. I'm loving this. I'm really loving this energy and vibe for the week coming up. Page of Swords. So there's some a truth that will be revealed. Page of Swords is all about re revelation of truth. So some sort of sort of message will be coming, and everything will become very very clear. So this you've got um, Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. So two two pages coming up in your reading, um, Aries. So within this outcome position, I actually quite like the Page of Swords because the truth will be revealed. You'll know exactly where you stand, and I feel like you will be closing off whatever this cycle is for you, Aries. Now, let's move to um, those looking, th this, this is now the segment where we move on to career, business, finances. Again, this is not to replace any financial advice. We are just talking energy. So what is it that, that Aries needs to know the week of the 8th to the 14th of May? What does Aries need to know? Quite a few cards. Okay, at the top of the deck, we have bonus. So with all the pages coming through, you might be getting a bonus. Some of you might be time for you to get a bonus um, for the work that you've done. Could be in the form of commissions, could be um, just because, could be, you know, you have been working hard and it hasn't gone noticed. 
un, uh, hasn't gone unnoticed, I should say. Oh my goodness, I am loving this week because with all the pentacle energy that started off your reading, you are deserving Aries. You are deserving of all the abundance, all the money, all the wealth. So if you are looking at your five of pentacles and feeling left out on in the cold that, you know, why is everybody else moving ahead? Whether this is in love, business, money, career, whatever the case may be for you, you are deserving of all the wealth and abundance, just like everybody else. That's what universe is saying. Surprise, surprise, the finances card has come up. No, you know, with all the pentacles that you have in the reading, I'm not surprised that a lot of you are focusing on your finances. So this, I was also guided to say that perhaps some of you are thinking of doing budgets or budget or doing a budget might help during this time on, you know, where your money is going, tracking where your money is going and coming from. That might help. And it may also, particularly if you are, um, you know, looking, looking for some news regarding employment, change um, or promotion, you know, and if the, you're feeling the burden of the cost of living or whatever the case may be. Now, this is very specific. Spirit is asking me to share this. Could be for one person or could be for more than one person. Your focus is on finances. So perhaps, do, you know, do things like budget, see where your money is going, track your money so that you can feel a little bit more balanced. You can feel a little bit more in control of knowing where money is coming and going from. But be rest assured, prosperity, you are going to become very, very prosperous. Prosperity is coming your way. You deserve it. Money, I feel like you're going to be okay. I think this is just the uncertainty, the energy of uncertainty surrounding you and the Knight of Pentacles being very, very slow. Patience. Patience is what Spirit is saying. You will be, you will have prosperity. You will be okay. You will be more than okay is what I'm picking up on this energy. Some of you at this moment in time could be looking at investing, could be starting a new business, could be um, investing in yourself even in terms of education, upskilling, you know, social media is coming up. Perhaps uh, some of you want to learn more about building a business online. How can you do that? Perhaps you're working with a coach or a mentor, um, you know, to learn how to start a business. These are, you know, Again, if this is something of interest, email me. I do this work um, with other entrepreneurs. So this is about investing, could be investing your funds, could be investing in yourself, could be investing, looking to buy a house. That's also investing. So I really, really love this energy for the week. A lot of focus on finances, which is right at the center here. So I love this for you, Aries. Now, let's shift gears to see what's happening. What do you need to know as it relates to... Um, Love, oh, these cards popped right out. So what do we need to know regarding love? Um, those in a relationship, what do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Is there any more cards that want to come up regarding love? Those looking for love or those in a relationship? Yep, I knew that one was coming up. Alrighty, at the top of the deck, we have gifts. Um, if you've watched the full moon reading, we had gifts come up then as well. So there we go. Now, the first card I have is married or taken. So some of you, you might be interested in someone or someone that you are currently seeing could be married or taken, or this could be you are married and taken happily with the love of your life. So this could, you know, it could go multiple ways. It could be you are married and married or in a committed relationship with someone you love. Or this could be that you are interested or in a relationship or dating someone that is already married or is in a commitment. Um, for those of you that have had an ending of some sort and wondering what's happened to that past person, they are watching you. Um, they are watching you. That's the energy I'm picking up that they are watching you. They're keeping tabs. They could be watching and following you on social media. They could be keeping tabs, um, through mutual connections and friends. So just be mindful, just be mindful of your energy. Um, because that's, they just trying to tap into your energy and life. So just be careful of what information you share and who with at this moment in time. Again, we have the page of swords. So some truths could be revealed. You know, you might hear in, in a love context, 
in the outcome position, we have the page of swords. So you may hear the truth about them actually following you, or you might hear from someone, you know, now some of you that, you know, are healing, um, or had a difficult, um, connection, relationship, friendship, whatever the case may be, that is a past life issue, karmic issue. I feel like saying as well. So this is this person and this lesson. Again, you had that card about the five of pentacles feeling left, left out in the cold. What spirit is saying is what lessons have you got? They came into your life for a specific lesson, lesson experience that you were meant to experience in this lifetime. So you can now call in the love that you truly deserve. So here I feel like, um, like you really need to, the way to heal and move past again, the star energy and the five of pentacles. If you are feeling this now, this is very specific. It may not apply to everyone. So take what resonates and leave the rest. But if it is a past life issue, a karmic issue, really work on healing and, and really focusing on what lessons did you learn from that? Because that's why they came into your life. Now I love this in as the final love reading card, because we started with balance, the six of pentacles. And we're ending the love rating with balance. So I love that the universe has in a very different dynamic in its own way confirmed that this week is all about balance, balancing of energy, balancing of giving and receiving, balancing of how you feeling energetically, balancing of where, how you give your time, energy, attention, focus, and who to, and how much of. So this balance here in the love context, relationship context is about, you can only feel somebody else's cup from a full cup. If you are running low and empty, the spirit is saying that you need to make time for self-care, rest and retreat. If this is applying for you, that is how, when you are in, when you are full and overflowing, that's how you'll attract your second cup to feel in the two of cups, the lovers. So that's what the message is there for you. I really love that. And if you've enjoyed this, please do hit the like subscribe button and to tell me in comments what's resonating most for you for this week. Now I'm going to pull some tea leaves and thank you for all your donations. They truly do mean the world to me and help me and my channel going. So thank you so much. I appreciate each of you. Oh, we can't have half the deck fall through. There's a lot of cards here that want to um, come out. Let me, I feel like I'm not done shuffling. What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? Is there any more messages for Aries Collective? So that was the last card. This was the first card. So I love this. We just spoke about balance. So the first one that came up was Cain. Pay attention to your health. Again, I'm not doing a health reading. I'm talking about energies and just picking up on what is coming through. If you need professional medical advice, please seek that as appropriate. So pay attention to your health. The second card that flew right out was Broken Ring. Now we did have the Five of Pentacles come up. Um, and we've got past life issue and then they're watching you. Um, so broken ring. And again, we've got the married and taken cards. So someone could be going through a divorce or, um, going through, um, you know, going through a divorce or a separation if they're in a committed relationship, parting of ways in either romance or business. So again, that's what broken ring means. This card came out third claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. So yeah, use your discernment, use your discernment about, um, about the risks you are willing and not willing to take. Um, but do your due diligence. So get help. That's what I'm getting here. Get help. If you need professional advice, don't be, don't be afraid. We've got sorrow over a loss. 
So again, we've got the five of pentacles. So maybe some of you, I feel like some of you, this is more than a relationship could also be loss of job, loss of employment or um, loss of a, you know, a partnership could be for some of you. So whatever the case may be. Um, I love this throne position of authority. So I'm loving the fact that the final card that came up is a positive card. So whatever that Knight of Pentacles is, there's a position of authority that you will be in, whether it's in your own business, whether it's working for someone, whether it is um, starting your own business, um, creative venture or project or in a partnership, you will be, if you are not the boss CEO, you will be leading, you will be a leader and you will look, you will be looked upon as a leader. So I love this energy very much for you. So Aries, this is your reading. Um, thank you for joining me. This is your weekly reading for the 8th to the 14th of May. Um, final day of retrograde on the 14th. So I'm sure a lot of us, well, I am absolutely looking forward to the retrograde ending um, because I've had so many stop starts with readings that I've been recording for you all. But it has been, you know, retrogrades are a great time for and a reminder for us to heal and release and let go. And a lot of this reading is talking about that. It's about releasing the past. It's about learning the lessons. It's about moving forward. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you and I will see you next time.